Uh, hello there. Uh, welcome to Nemtek channel. My name is Nehemiah and uh, I'm very very much happy to have you on board. Uh, and so today we are going to discuss about Python strings. And I guess uh, before we get started, uh, if it's your first time to get into this channel, please consider subscribing. And uh, to the returning subscribers, I really appreciate very very much. You can as well like the video. I appreciate kabisa kabisa. Now, uh, first of all, let's understand what is uh, Python strings. Uh, strings in Python are surrounded by either a single or a double, you know, quotation marks. And uh, first of all, I want us to begin by writing here a program that is able to, to receive, you know, a user input. So I want to use here an input function, like uh, let me say input, uh, input. Then uh, I want to write here, uh, you know, a pro, you know, a statement that is able to ask, uh, you know, a user to type in their, you know, their best programming language. Like, uh, let me say, uh, actually, I said that we use a single or a double quotation mark to assign, actually, to to define a string or a, yeah, to define a string. Like, uh, let me say, uh, which, uh, which is, which is your best uh, programming programming language uh, programming language then uh, a question mark and then I guess I remember to add here uh, you know a white space a white space here but then let me make this uh, you know statement to, to, to be a variable here so let me say uh, let me uh, say let me create this variable name to be best best language best language you can give it any name best language then i'm going to assign it to this function remember that uh, this equal sign this equal operator is not equating this uh, best language to you know uh, this input function but uh, we are assigning this you know variable to this you know in, in, to this uh, uh input function we are not equating so you need to know that in python we use the uh, equal sign to assign not to equate and then now uh, uh, the second statement i want to write here a uh, function uh, a print function that is able to uh, to print you know uh, that uh, statement so let me say print print then uh, let me say let me type here, uh, you know, another string here. I remember that I will use a single or a double quotation mark. Either way it works. So let me say here, um, <coughs> let me say something like, uh, hey, hey, dude, you like, you like, you like, and then uh, create a white space here. And then uh, let's concatenate with this uh, first variable. To concatenate, we use the uh, plus operator. Remember, uh, yeah, we use plus operator to concatenate or to combine this first variable and then these strings. So, and then uh, here, let me con let me actually concatenate with this uh, variable, which is based language. And then now, um, I don't know if you can see this, but uh, let me try to zoom in so that you can. So, this there. Uh, actually this day a uh, variable here and then I've assigned it to this uh, you know uh, input function which is your uh, best uh, programming language and then uh, to the print function I've you know concatenate this string with this uh, you know variable so it will print hey do you, do you like then it will print uh, you know the these uh, user information here like uh, let me let me run it so first of all let me zoom in zoom out so guys uh, if you don't know how to run these uh, you know programs you go to the run here you go to the run and then uh, you click the run remember for now i have only this single python file but uh, if you have several it will give you you know uh, several options so you 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 choose what you are uh, currently using so mine is main so the project is main so i'm going to click on this main but i guess you need to note that uh, sometimes when you have uh, or uh, when you open here you can see we have the shortcuts here like at run you can see the shortcut is uh, shift plus f10 but i know uh, with the you know those using mac i think it has you know a different uh, you know uh, different shortcuts different commands actual shortcuts but now at this main so i'm going to click on it so first of all let me zoom actually zoom in so that you can see I, i'm not sure if you can see on your end so guys uh, basically 
uh, this is the variable and then we have assigned uh, we have assigned it to this input function and then at the print function it is hey dude you like uh, this is a string then i have concatenated with that you know this variable and then i guess remember we added here a white space and then uh, now to the print function guys when you when you run to the terminal you can see uh, which is your best programming language so guys uh, when you, you can see uh, the importance of white space it it helps you to actually actually to to have you know some space here so that it, it doesn't begin you know at exact uh, where these are uh, question marks you know uh ends so like uh, let me say python python when I, when I type in python so it's going to print me that hey dude you like python you can see so basically these are uh you know we have created um a program that is able to do it that is able to uh actually to to receive user input or to print user inputs so guys uh, but uh, le let's try to remove this white space so that you can see the importance the significance let's uh, remove this uh, white space it will not be you know that good so let's you know to run guys you remember it is shift plus uh f10 the shortcut on command i, I don't know but i guess uh, when i type in like uh you can see guys it begins you know at that exact place where the uh, the question mark you know ends so the white space helps you to at least to create you know some space there so that you can type in well so but uh, let me say uh, let me say what let me say uh, like a uh, let me say something or uh, let me say python let me say python and then uh, guys you can see hey do you like python you can see that uh, uh this like and python is you know uh it is close to each other so the white space helps you to you know at least create you know, some space there so when you run and then i uh, here i wrote uh these are python uh actually yeah let me let me print shift plus uh f10 and then at the time you know here like uh, let me say um hmm, let me say python python and then i uh, guess you can see that we have you know some space some space there that hey do you, do you like uh, python i want to write here another you know another example here i want us to write here another example that uh, you know a program that is able to calculate your year uh, when you just type in type in the the date of birth actually it prints you know uh, it prints what you know it calculates you the uh, the age your current age like uh, let me say uh, input actually in, uh, input now uh, input and then uh, remember that we use double or uh, single quotation marks to define a string and then uh, here let me say uh, enter <coughs> enter your your bad here uh, enter your but but yeah uh, and i your but here and then i uh, guess you you do what you create a white space there and then i uh, guess uh, let me uh, assign it to as uh, uh, actually let me create a you know a variable for it so let me say uh let me say but but what but here but here actually I want to you can see that it underlines an error here so let me use a camel camel case so let me say but here yeah. and then i'm assigning to these are uh, actually to assigning to these are uh, you know input function and then i uh, here in the second line and let me say age age uh, age and then uh, let me say let me create a variable for age and then i'm going to say this is 2022 at the time that i'm i'm, I'm uploading this video it is 2022 and then now uh, uh 2022 minus minus you know uh then uh, uh guess i taught you the you know type conversion how to convert in you know, all strings to integers and uh, so forth so like uh, when i type in uh like uh like uh let me say 2022 minus my year of birth let me type in something like a 2000 and then i guess it will it will give me you know an error or I'll, when i say let me um, when i say uh actually 20 20 20 2000 so basically guys you cannot you know 
uh, you cannot uh, it cannot do a it cannot you know subtract a string to an integer so you must convert this string to an integer an integer for it to to run well otherwise it will give you an error like this one it will, it will give us an error so like uh, let me say uh, print uh, print what print mm, print a uh, edge edge so guys uh, when i run it i run it you see an error let me first of all zoom so guys uh, when i run it so shift plus uh, f10 uh and then i uh, guess you can see it's going to give me an error just as soon as i type in what my uh, you know my age like uh when i say 2000 um 2000 um so guys you can see that is going to give me an error that uh uh, what that uh, line two uh, you can see the error here it is in this uh, file and then uh, in the line two you can see here uh, the error is in this second line and then uh, in this you know module edge um, uh, actually this is, a, is, a, is an integer and then uh, this one is a, is a string so basically when you quote you know uh, even an integer or a float or a, you know whichever uh, whichever type it is but uh, provided that you quote it it is you know uh, a string so basically you can see the type error here <coughs> let me zoom in you can see guys uh, the type error here that uh, you know uh, unsupported operand types like uh, for integers and a string so basically you cannot you know uh, you can do not do what you cannot uh, uh you cannot you know subtract an integer to from a string so you must you know convert it so to convert it we are going to write here an int an int and then uh, I do it. Uh huh. No bad here. And then uh, when I type in edge, uh, actually when I run it, uh, shift plus fifteen. Then uh, to the terminal when I just type it what? Uh, bad here. Like uh, let me say two thousand. Two thousand. Then I run it. You can see, guys, it gives me that uh, I'm twenty-two. You can see it now it. It is now functioning. So assuming that uh, you are born, um, maybe nineteen sixty or uh, whichever, or uh, um, whichever year it is. So first of all, let me rerun it. So shift plus fifteen, and then uh, for example, let's say you are born in nineteen ninety. So when you run, you can see guys, it gives you your age. So basically, we have created what you have, we have created. Uh, actually a program that is able to calculate your age provided you you know you you insert what you insert your uh, the year of birth so basically uh this now uh you know strings so perhaps let's try to understand what to understand you know a multi-line strings let me clear everything here uh let me clear everything here and then uh, so guys uh i remember that uh, you can you, you can assign a multi-line string to a variable by, by using three quotes so like uh, hmm, let me say for example let me create a variable x and then uh, let me assign it to something like uh, let me create a multi-line a multi-line you know <coughs> a string uh, and then uh, i said that we use actually three we use three we use three what we use three uh quote quotations so uh like uh, let me say you can say my name my name my name is and then uh, let me break it uh, and then uh, let me say nehemiah nehemiah and I then uh, let me break it and then I say let me say like programming programming a uh, programming a uh, programming and then a uh, programming mm, uh, let me say I'm um, I'm also an an instructor at a name tech name tech at name tech so guys uh, remember that you also close with this actually 
with the with the three word with the three you know quotation marks and then uh, now when i type in this uh, print function like uh, print print what uh, print uh, x so guess it is going to you know uh, to give me this what it's going to print uh, this what here so shift plus uh, f10 and then uh, guys you can see it's going to you know print the exact exact what uh, these statements so basically this is how you can do it you can uh, use uh, multi line strings so um you can see it's very very uh, very very awesome so basically when you use a double actually triple three double quotes three 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 double quotes so let me uh, for example remove one and then I run shift plus uh, f10 it will give me an error so guys you can see that you must do it you must uh, use uh you must use uh you know uh, exact even when i use two it will it will also bring me an error shift plus 15 you can see still it gives me what an error so guys you must specify the number of you know uh double quotation marks it should be three also here you type in what three mm, three quotation mark at the end so that uh, when you click on shift plus uh, f10 uh, it's going to print what you know these multi line strings and i guess you can see that uh, i'm always using what uh you know uh, double quotes let me try you can as well use a single quote so let me just use a single quote like uh, here let me just use three single quotes also here let me just use what three single quotes and then uh, when i click on shift plus f10 i guess you can see that it still does not give you an error like but uh, when i reduce uh, when i reduce the number of quotes here at the end then i click shift plus 15 you can see guys it gives me an error so you must you know uh, if it's single quote you ensure that you have three single quotes so basically guys uh, this is how you can do it this is how you can use uh, multi line strings and i guess uh, the other thing that you need to know about uh, you know the strings python strings that uh, strings are arrays so like uh, many other popular programming languages strings in python are arrays uh, of bytes representing the unicode characters uh, however guys uh, python does not have you no know, a uh, character for a data type a single character is simply a string with a length of you know one so square square brackets can be used to access the element of, uh, of the strings so um let's try an example here for you to understand so like uh, let me create a variable here like uh, let me use a then i uh, assign it to uh, a string like uh, let me say hello world hello world and then um uh, hello world then uh, let me let me say what let me say print uh, print what print uh, print what print a and then i say that i use what i use these are uh, square bracket and then uh, let me type in one uh, and i guess uh, basically these are double codes is just you know helping you to actually to specify or uh, to access the element of a, of a string like uh, when i type in this one it's going to print what these are uh, first uh you know a uh, part of the uh, this element like a uh, hello so this will be the first you know character actually the first uh word you know so like uh, when i say uh, print shift plus uh, f10 i'm going to print me what uh e so let me try to say to let me say two then uh, shift plus uh, uh f10 and then i uh, guess you can see and the second one is uh, l three let me say three shift plus uh, f10 and then i uh, guess you can see that it is you know uh, l still so guys uh, basically you can use uh, you know the square bracket to access you know the element of a of a string uh, and so guys uh, let's try to loop in uh, you know uh, with the strings so let me we use the for let me just uh, type in this for then uh, let me x and then uh, let me say in uh in then uh, let me for example let me say in nehemiah so guys it's going to loop this uh name and then it's going to run from top to bottom so that it will be n e h e m i a h in a in a vertical manner so when i type in uh you know when i type in what print 
and uh, guys you need to know that a python you need to you need to consider the indentation indentation actually is the space between the edge you know and the first character in uh in in this uh, second line actually the indentation is like uh, you know the space the the white space between the edge and the first character and then uh, let me say print and then uh, for example let me say uh, let me use what i used x so guys going to uh, but uh, you remember that uh, you close here with that with this uh colon it's called it's called colon then i uh, click shift uh plus what plus f10 and then i guess you can see that you have generated your your you know your loop so basically this is how you can do it this is how you can uh, uh you can do it you can uh, uh you can generate what you can just how you loop in uh through strings so uh, i think that the strings are array so we can loop through the character in a string with a for loop okay so we have used a, a for loop here and so guys uh, the other thing that we need to understand about these strings is how to you know get the length of a string so to get the length of a string we use the uh, l uh, length function length, length function so let me first of all uh, clear everything so that it may be blank and then uh, let me use this uh, variable and then uh, let me assign it to this uh, string like uh, let me say uh, let me say name tech but then my my if you want to search this channel on youtube you just search name tech name tech underscore ke so you're going to to find this uh, channel so uh i want us to to understand how to get you know the length of the uh, the length of the string or uh, actual of the string so we are going to use the actual the print function but then here we are going to use the l len len here for length so for example the, the length of a variable a so guys when you click on shift plus do plus uh, f10 here to determine you can see that uh, the length is uh, 11 characters so let's count manually n is 1 e is 2 h is 3 m is 4 t is 5 e is 6 uh, c is 7 h is 8 uh, underscore is uh, 9 k is 10 and then uh, e is 11 so basically it has you know accurately give us, given us what the length of this uh, string so let me try again and say name take uh, is uh, my channels uh, my channels name my, my channels name and and name tech dot com is my website my website is my website so shift plus what shift plus uh, f10 so guys it's going to give us the number of characters used there so remember it also count with this what these are uh, white space here so it is uh, 63 words so basically you can use uh, this uh, length fun you know the length function to uh, calculate the number of words used in that word uh, in that uh, you know strings so now let's understand how to you know check strings so to check string uh, we are going to use the in function actually in keyword so let me first of all uh, clear everything so that you may begin again and then uh, for example let's try this example like uh, let me say txt and then uh, let me uh, assign it to for example um hmm. let me say my, my name my name is nehemaya my name is nehemaya wakesa and then uh do it uh let me say what let me say print or uh, perhaps let me say uh, uh oh, sorry mm -hmm. my name is Nehemiah Wakesa and then I do it let me create another line here and then uh, let me say print let me say print um, mm -hmm. uh, let me say uh, let me say print uh, let me say print name uh, actually we use a this string string actually the the, the 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 double quote or a single quote so let me say name in 
uh, name tag actually it's here name is here and then uh, we are going to use the in keyword in in keyword in txt with this uh, in this variable so i'm going to click on shift plus uh, f10 and then uh, guys you can see that uh, uh, that uh, name is found in this you know string name is true but uh, for example when i say uh for example let me say food <laughs> let me say food uh in this uh, variable here so when i click on shift uh, plus f10 so I guess it's going to give me false because food is not found here in this uh, string here but uh, for example uh, when again again i say nehemiah nehemiah then i shift plus 15 guys you can see it, it gives me it is true so basically this is how you can do it you can check uh what you can check in in, in string so use the uh, in keyword so let's try also to check if not to use the if not uh keyword not in keyword so let me first of all clear and then uh, do what let me um, or uh, before be uh, rather than to to clear everything let me just i uh, use this uh, uh this function here so instead of no uh, in let me say what not mm -hmm. let me say not uh, not in txt so uh, when i say for example mm -hmm, food food and then i do it click on shift uh, plus uh, f10 and then i guess you can see it is true that a food is not found in this what in this uh, line of string here in this first statement so basically guys you can do what you can do that to check uh to check what to check uh, the string and then i guess uh, the other thing that i want us to discuss about this string is uh, slicing slicing and strings so basically you can uh, return a range of you know characters by using the slice syntax so uh specify the start index and then uh, the end uh, index uh, separated by a column uh, to, re to return a part of the string and then let's try an example here let's try an example like uh, let me use this variable here and then uh, let me assign it to something like um, let me type in this hello world hello world hello world and then i uh, do what uh print I print what I print uh, for example uh, it is X and then I use a uh, double quote double quote double quote so uh, I want us to try here an example to get the character from position you know uh, position 2 to uh, position 5 uh, if not included so let me try let me say for example 2 and then I say that we use a uh, colon 2 to 5 and then uh, guys uh, uh, so click on what click on uh, shift plus uh, f10 and then i uh, guess you can see that uh, uh, it is what it is uh just printed what uh l l o so from second word so e uh e that is second word and then uh, the five so it is uh it is these three words here this uh, e l l so basically that this is how guys you can do what you can slice you know uh in what uh, in python actually not this is the second actually let me see l or i say from second to fifth so from this one actually this is the fifth i know uh character in this statement let's try also um, perhaps uh to sixth mm, or a seventh then I shift plus 15 and then I guess it's going to slice those words here so guys uh, basically this is how you can do it you can uh, you know you can slice you can slice uh, you know this are uh, part but I uh, remember that you can you can specifically for example if you want to slice from you know from 6 to actually to what to the end so you can just say here like uh, let me say sorry so like uh, here you can just say from six and then i uh, call uh these are colons called colon i don't know then i click shift uh, so we are going to slice the end part of this uh string 
so shift plus what plus uh, uh plus uh, f10 and then uh, actually shift plus f10 the shortcut to run in the terminal and then i guess you can see that uh, it has you know a uh, slide the end part of that word so guys you can see that uh, it is uh you know uh hello word there uh, and so guys uh, the other thing that i want us to understand here is to modify strings uh in python so like uh, if you want to make uh, this statement to be uppercase lowercase and so forth so we are going to try this example here like um let's start by understanding how to do it to change the words to uh, uppercase so uh in this uh second uh this uh, second word we are going to use the uh, upper function actually upper you know upper method here method the upper method to uh, return the string to uppercase like uh, let me say mm -hmm. uh, let me say for example uh, let me say a dot uh, upper dot upper mm, actually sorry it should be x this is this thing is x remember that if you type a different what a different uh, variable here it will not function so guys uh, when i do it when i run this program in our in our terminal consider that uh, you have changed the words to you know uh, lowercase actually to uppercase sorry so if you want to change it to lowercase we are going to use what guess what we're going to use lower and then i guess when you click on shift plus uh plus f10 then i guess you can see that uh, all the words are now in you know uh you know lower space you know are uh, in small letters actually so and then i guess you can uh you can also know how to remove white space remember that white space for example in this hello world the white space is between this this space here it's called white white space white space so white space is the space before or after the actual text and uh, very often you want to remove this space so uh we use the strict you know method so to remove what the white space from the beginning or or the end or the end so like uh for example um hmm. so like uh let me first of all uh do it let me create some space so this is the white space the space here this uh, gap that is uh, found here so first of all let me click on shift uh you need to know to know something here at the end uh just be observant here at the end let me click on shift plus 15 and then i guess you can see that you have created in, in uh here the the white space you know the space between the edge and the what uh the first character so now if you want to remove this uh, space automatic we are going to use uh the script method so uh let me just retype it afresh and then uh, i said that we use the strip the strip uh, uh this is a strip method so it is going to return what uh, is going to return the this uh hello world without the white space so i guess you need to understand to be observant here at the bottom here so let me click on shift plus uh, f10 and then i guess you can see that uh, basically we have removed the white space here that was here so now the words are now begin from the uh, edge here now from the start so guys uh, basically that's how you can easily do it and that's how you can do uh you can uh, you know uh, you can do it you can uh, remove the white space and then i uh, guess yeah the other thing that i want us to understand here is to replace a string uh you know in python so uh, to replace a, a string we are going to use the uh, replace keyword yeah uh, actually a replace method which is going to re to replace another string like uh, for example uh let's first of all let me remove this uh, this thing here yeah? and then i guess uh let me say uh, let me say uh um, hmm, 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 hmm. for example let me say good boy let me say good boy it will be a very good example uh let me say uh, let me say good uh uh it's always let me say it's always bad it's always bad uh, this is just an example it's, it is not real but uh, i want us to understand something here so uh, i want us to replace i said that we use the 
uh, we use the replace uh, method so replace uh, replace uh, for example let's say go they want us to replace with uh, go they want us to replace with um, with what so we are going to use uh, remember to define a string use the, the, the double quote so let me say good so i'm going to uh, replace g uh, then uh, here you add a comma now to uh, let me say food food is <laughs> so that the food is always bad i don't know uh, f so it it becomes uh, f so I click on shift plus uh, f10 and then i uh, guess you can see here that the food is always bad so basically i've replaced g to to what uh, we, have re we have replaced this g to uh, f so uh, food is always bad and then initially it was good is always bad basically you have now understood how to uh to do it to replace uh you know to replace a string so uh, the other thing now is to split so we are going to use the split method uh, to return what a list where the text between the specified uh, separators become the list items. So uh, let's try uh, this example here. Uh, like um, hmm. let's let me say here. Actually, sorry, 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 guys, sorry, sorry. So uh, here I'm going to say what. Uh, let me say we're going to use this. Uh, actually, this uh, double. You can use a double or a single, and then uh, you separate with that with this uh, comma. And uh, here it's not uh, replaced; it should be split. Split. Actually, split. Yeah, uh, split. So, uh, so it's going to return what? First of all, let's click on Shift Plus uh, F10. Actually. This is not a split, sorry. Should be split, split, split. Sorry, guys. A split. Mm, sorry. A split, yeah. So shift plus uh, F10. And then I guess you can see that uh, you, can, you can see that it has do, uh, done what it has. Uh, let me use this example. Like, uh, let me say food is, then uh, let me add a comma, then a uh, shift plus F10. And then I guess you can see that uh, it has split this good is it has split it to always bad. So that's how you can do it. That's how you can uh, split uh, strings. And so uh, uh, basically the other thing that I want us to understand here is uh, string concatenation. But uh, I think guys we understand uh, previously how to concatenate, to concatenate strings. We understood uh, just in the introduction of this video, but uh, let me try an example here. Another example, like uh, let me say a is equal Nehemiah. Actually, my name is Nehemiah, uh, and I uh, remember that you define a string with what with the quotation marks. So let me say Nehemiah, and then uh, the second one, let me say um, B, and then uh, let me say what? Let me say we kiss them. Wekesa. and then uh, I want us to concatenate like uh, we use let me say C uh, is equals to uh, B uh, actually A or uh, let me say B and then uh, we concatenate with uh, with what with A Wekesa Nehemiah so basically this uh, plus operator is going to combine or to concatenate Nehemiah and uh, do and what and uh, Wekesa so when I say print print what print c is going to do what is going to print what it's going to print uh, uh actually we're case name my so shift plus 15 and then i guess you can see that uh, it has printed with case name my and there's something that uh, guys uh we need to understand here is to create a white space here let me create a white space there and then i click shift plus uh 10 and then I guess you can see that it's for case in my I guess you need to co consider white space in Python. It's very, very key. Otherwise, your words will just, you know, be close to each other. Uh, and so, guys, I think that you've gained something. So, I want to give you an, ass an assignment. Go to my website and uh, learn how to do it, how to format strings. Remember that you cannot combine uh, strings with, with the numbers. So, go and do it. Uh, go and uh, do uh, a research on how to format so my website is 
uh, nametech nametech.com this is the domain nametech.com just search nametech.com or w www.nametech.com uh, you can as well use the this uh, url here the http it still works uh, remember it has a secure extension i have a valid ssl so just search uh nametech nametech.com either way so to just direct you to my website go and search nametech.com nametech is n e h m t e c h dot c o m so that is nametech i usually pronounce it as nametech but i don't know how you do it but it's nametech.com so go and do a research on uh, python for uh, actually python string formatting so that when we uh when uh, we create another video we just go fast to go to another you know another topic uh and so guys i really appreciate you for your time if you have not subscribed please do so in that the subscribers thank you very much and so guys until next time goodbye